Hey everyone, today I have a huge wig sale. Okay, so these are only some of them. I'm not sure how many I will get through today. It's gonna depend on how long it's gonna take me. So I'll get through as many as I can. I probably will have at least one more that'll be coming up. So for all of these wigs, I will let you know if I have the tag. A lot of the times the tag is still attached. Um, I do, for the most part, have all of the boxes. However, I would prefer to just send them in a bubble mailer because that's gonna be cheaper that way, you know, to do that. As far as the pricing, to ship in a bubble mailer without the box, the price will be, um, the shipping will be included in the price, okay? So if you want the box and I have it, then it's gonna be extra, so you'll have to let me know. I will put my email address down below and you can email me to see if the wig is still available and um, I will also give you my PayPal address so that you can send it via PayPal. If you need me to send you an invoice, I can do that. I would rather us do it like the, not the friends and family, but the goods and services one, I'll eat that um, as far as the, the fee that they charge for it. So um, it'd just be better on both ends, you know, in case there are any issues, which there shouldn't be. So I, there's no smoking in my house. So these wigs really haven't been around smoke. I don't get them around smoke. I do have a dog, but she doesn't mess with my wigs. So <laughs> most part guys, okay, so this one isn't for sale, but for the most part, all my wigs are just very in new condition. I probably either not worn them, worn them for a review, or maybe worn them around the house. Uh, if I did wear them, it would be to work. And when I go to work, I only go for about four to six hours at a time. Otherwise, I'm here at the house. Uh, if I go to the store or something, I'm gone for a couple hours. So I'm never in my wig. I mean, like never in my wig <laughs> for like a full eight hours. It just, it just doesn't happen. So just so you know that. If you have any questions, be sure and ask me. So once these are sold, uh, the sales are final. I'm not gonna accept any returns. I'm not looking to make money on these wigs. I'm really just looking to recoup what I paid for them um, for the most part, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little wig liner cap on and start trying them on. First one is this one from Tony of Beverly. This is the Avery, the Avery style, and it's in the color ginger brown. I don't see a ton of red in it. Um, just so you know, I have the blinds open here. It's really overcast out though, and then I have two lights on either side of me. I feel like it's coming off a little darker than it actually is, but Avery has a lace top and a closed wefted crown. There is an extended nape and then Velcro adjusters. And then the ear tabs are also um, the, the nice soft material that the extended nape is in. I don't have the measurements. You can always look those up though. So this is just kind of a, you know, mid length style, really nice style. It does have a little bit of a fringe in the front. I think I've worn this one out of the house once. So the lace front, you can see there, and you can, you know, have the fringe going down or you can just get it off your forehead like that. And let me turn around for you. So that is Avery by Tony of Beverly in the color uh, Ginger Brown. I do have the box or a box, a Tony of Beverly box. I can't remember if this is the actual box, but I do have a Tony of Beverly box. It does come with the tag, just not attached. And I will put the information for you down below. Next, I'm almost sad about um, selling this one. This was my very first wig. Now I've only had it for a year. I've been wearing wigs for a year, but this is Stevie and it's in the color Espresso. Uh, I do have the box. It's the Amore, Amore line from Renee of Paris. And I've worn this one 
maybe twice. This has a beautiful double mono top, super soft. It doesn't have a lace front because it does have fringe, so it doesn't need it. But you can really see, I mean, that's a really nice lace top there. Uh, excuse me, double mono, double mono top. It does not have an extended nape. The adjusters are like the pull adjusters. The um, ear tabs are not the soft material. It's kind of like the rose, rose lace material and the tag this is how i bought it actually it's just barely hanging on okay but the tag is there for now hopefully i don't pull it off or something but it does have the style name and the style color which i really like that there in the um on the tag and the card is also there stevie is a very long um style and the fringe, I didn't cut them or anything. It's definitely too, the fringe are too long for me. Fringe is too long for me. So yeah, definitely pretty. It is long, you can see there. It has a little, a little bump it at the, at the back there, but nothing major. You can kind of slip that down. She needs a good brush. So I actually bought this one at uh, Mimi's in Dallas. So that's where it came from. And you know, the ends, they're looking a little, I don't wanna say ratty, they just need to be brushed. I've worn this maybe once or twice. And I, so I really haven't done anything to it. Um, as far as, you know, spraying anything on it or whatever. Not be surprised by this one, but this is Raquel Welch, and this is on point. Now, um, this is in the color, what is it called? Deepest Ruby. This color is gorgeous, okay? Gorgeous. The tags are still attached. I have not worn this out of my house. I didn't even do, I didn't even do a review on this particular one. I do have a review on dark chalk. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the 6-8 color. So this is Deepest Ruby RL 3325. The color is gorgeous. It just does not look gorgeous on me. Um, so it does have a lace front and then a mono side part there, extended nape, and Velcro adjusters, and it has the soft material on the nape and on the ear tabs. Oh, it's a center top, a center mono, not the, um, not the left, I'm sorry. I forgot this one part's in the center. So On Point is just one of those go-to styles. There is the lace front there. Very pretty, just not a great color for me. This one does have the box. If you want it, it'll just be extra. Um, otherwise, I can send it in a bubble mailer. I have another Raquel Welch, and I did wear this one once. I don't remember if I did a review on this one, to be honest, but this is Upstage, and this is in the color RL24 Off Black. It's not black, okay? It's gonna look like it's black, I think, in this on the screen, but it's coming off way darker, in my opinion, than what it actually is. But it's a two and a four, so you know that it has brown in it. It's basically like the darkest brown, but definitely not black. Upstage has a lace front, mono top, soft ear tabs, extended nape, pull adjusters. This just isn't my style. I wore this to work once and that's it. Upstage is super popular, but it's just not for me. Fun fact, this is what I was wearing. Um, I don't know if you maybe saw on, or maybe if you were part of it, um, on Instagram where Ra Raquel Welch with their catalog, they put a bunch of 
wig wearers pictures in there and they put mine in there wearing this. So this is the wig that I'm wearing in the Raquel Welch catalog. So Upstage is a really good style. If you watch Jill Lynn Beauty Therapy, is that what it's called? Um, she loves the style. A lot of people love this style. It's just not my style. So like I said, I've worn it once. Lace front. Oh, this one. This one is a hand tied cap. Duh. Yeah. So this was not cheap, but hand tied cap. It definitely fits a little more snug. So a little more snug, say, than the um, on point does, just so you know. Yeah. So this is a hand tied cap. Have another Raquel Welch and this tag has not been removed. This is Simmer in the color RL1012 Sunlit Chestnut. I've been wanting Simmer for a while and I think it's just not the style for me. There's nothing wrong with it. I like the color. It's lighter, but Sunlit Chestnut 1012, really pretty. Uh, it has a lace front, mono top, wefts in the back, uh, it has um, the extended nape and the soft ear tabs. So kind of like a deconstructed beachy wave look. Definitely nothing wrong with Simmer. It just, it's a little, I feel like it's a little too much hair for me. I might look back on this and be like, why are you selling it? I don't know. Anyway, it's a really cute style, cute little waves. Simmer looks really good on some people. Like I've seen Simmer look really good on people. I just feel like it doesn't look good on me. So this one is up for grabs. Again, tags attached. All right, so now on to a John Renault. Uh, this is Catherine in the color 633. I can't remember what the color name is for that. I have worn this one don't think I did a review. I can't remember. I haven't worn it out of the house because it still has the tag on it. Okay, so you'll know that it, it still has the tag on it. But this one is, I feel like Catherine is a little underappreciated. It's a really pretty style. It has that nice little kind of bump at the, at the top there. Um, it does have a longer fringe little bit of a longer fringe there and just some waves there at the bottom it does have a lace front but no mono features on it the nice soft ear tabs pull adjusters and an extended nape definitely pretty you see my wig cap there but I think I have it pulled up too far Definitely, definitely pretty. Nice curls. Very pretty. So Catherine, Raspberry Twist. Maybe it's Raspberry Twist. This one might stun a few people because it's so popular but it's just not the style for me. Again, this is John Renault, and this is Ignite in the color Midnight Cocoa, which is S -F, excuse me, FS43330A. I have worn this one out of the house once, I think. I did not do a review on it. I have the card, obviously, but I don't have it attached because I did wear it out of the house. So Ignite is definitely a shorter, kind of angled in like that. The color Midnight Cocoa is really pretty. Again, I don't know how this is gonna come out once I actually see it on the computer. To me right now, it looks a little darker than what it is because you can definitely see the highlights in there. So Ignite has a lace front and it's a pretty deep one, pretty deep lace front. And then the rest is mono. It does have the extended nape there and then the um 
Velcro adjusters, and the soft ear taps. So really you can part ignite wherever you want because it has the lace front but um, no mono top. So really you can part it wherever you want. And just so you know, you're gonna see my hair growth back here because my hair, grow, hair grows um, fairly far down here. But it's a super cute style. It's just not really for me, okay? So here we are in the front. And again, I know you can see my hair back here, but that's how far down my hair grows. But super cute in the back. Okay, next I have a Paula Young wig, and this is Bonnie in the color 812A. And this one still has the tags attached as well. The reason why I didn't wear this one is because um, I don't love this color on me. So this is, like I said, the 812. It's one of their preferred hues, I think is what they call it. I think that's what they call it. Uh, this one is an all basic cap. So the rose lace at the top, nice soft velvet that's gonna be on your forehead. The ear tabs aren't, they're like the open, the open ear tabs there. And there is not an extended nape, but it is Velcro adjusters. As far as permatees, I don't think this really has permatees, but it has like, I've heard it called pre-tees and, but not like the nesty permatees. It does have a little bit of a fringe there. So this is just really a bob. Definitely a cute style, just not my color. Uh, the fringe is longer, of course, on me. This is probably like a four inch, but you can definitely cut it. This has not obviously been cut. I have not worn this wig. Uh, I don't even think, I haven't reviewed this wig either. I only compared it in my Paula Young uh, brunette colors. I can't, I can't remember um, what the video was. I'm pretty sure I compared it in there. But a really cute wig, it's just not the color for me, basically. Okay, so that was eight. I think I'm gonna do two more. First of all, we'll do the angled cut. It's hairdo. Ooh, I look pretty, don't I? Uh, it's hairdo. I did do a review on this one. I wore it out. Well, I wore it for the review, and then I wore it out once. I remember I wore it to the grocery store, and that's all I've worn it. Not really pixie. It's kind of longer than a pixie, but did I say the color? This is the color R4, which is midnight brown, dark brown. Midnight brown slash dark brown. So definitely not a black, but it is dark. I haven't cut anything on here or anything. It does have just a um, basic cap, soft material there at the, at the forehead. The ear tabs are open ear tabs, so they're not the soft material. Uh, it's not an extended nape, but it does have Velcro adjusters. So again, with this one, this is one of the ones that you can go to either side because uh, it doesn't have any type of mono top uh, part or anything like that. So either side, this, this is my hair right here, okay? That's my hair. It's a pretty short Piece. It's really cute. There is some permatease right here, okay? That is permatease up there. But, I mean, you can probably tell it's not a ton of permatease because it's not like uh, standing up, okay? But there is some permatease. Like I said, you can make it go either side. Um, I'm going to show you again. This is my hair right here. Now you can make this one it's so cute with some red lipstick, you're like Paris. I mean, so, so cute. But I just don't, it's hard for me to have my ha have hair this short because I really have to keep this shade back here. So it's harder for me in that sense, but it's a cute wig, it really is. All right, one last one. I'm already at 32 minutes here. I'm gonna try to cut it down, but I'm only gonna do one more and then I will do another video on another day. So this is from Walker Welch. It still has the tags attached. 
Um, it is winter, okay, and it's in the color SS10, which is SS Chestnut. It's a really pretty color, but this wig does not look good on me at all. I'm going to tell you up front, this one does not look good on me. So that's why I'm not keeping it. Really pretty color. SS Chestnut uh, tag attached there. And it's definitely, as you can see, a short style. Uh, it has a basic cap. There is the soft moleskin or whatever that is in the front. The tabs are open ear tabs. The back is, it is an extended nape, but it's not that soft material. Uh, and it's Velcro adjusters. Don't laugh. Here we go again this is my hair here okay so the wig is much shorter i've seen some people rock this wig i am not one of them that's okay okay that's all right so you can push it behind your ears if you want there is permatease up here uh, if not it would be flat down on your head so there is permatease up here the bangs are short enough like i have a small forehead and they're fine i mean I, don't, I wouldn't have to cut them at all. So let me just kind of bring it out the way it's made, I guess. This is winter. And that's my hair. Okay, I think that's 10. In the description box, I'll have the information for each wig. If something is sold, I'll be sure and put on there that it's sold. If you wanna purchase it, email me. My uh, email address will be below for you. And it will be basically first come, first serve. So, you know, be sure if there's one of these wigs that you want that you let me know. That's it, have a good day. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next wig sale. And I will talk to you soon, bye.